Shin is revered as one of Korea's most renowned legendary modern singers of today. He debuted in 1999, so he's been in the music industry for 19 years as of this year. So some background information about Park Hyoshin that will give you context to why he wrote this song is that he has not had good dealings with his companies in the past. One of them worked him to the frickin' bone until he collapsed on stage and was later diagnosed with spasmodic dysphonia. Damn. And Wildflower was a huge comeback for him after four years of hiatus and it's very close to his heart since Wildflower is symbolism for his deep appreciation for music and also represents the hardships he had to go through in the past that held him back from doing what he loved the most and how despite the turmoil he has survived them and like the lyrics portray he was a wildflower facing harsh coldness of winter and blooming in the end. Do you guys want the lyrics before or after? Let's do before. And so this song was composed and written by both him, Park Hyoshin, and his friend Jung Jae-il, who you'll see playing the piano in the music video. The music video is a one-take live in the desert. What? Yes! Uh, it's filmed by a drone, and the piano playing and the vocals are live, recorded live. Wow. And so there's actually an original studio version where it's like a full orchestra and like a drum set and stuff, but this is just vocals and piano, so like it's a new arrangement. I'm interested to see how this goes. How, like, a, like a live performance music video. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty cool when you think about it. And I like how they show the process at the beginning. It's, mm -hmm. I'm just like acoustically, this would be a nightmare, you know? Oh man, oh man, hype! Hype! Hi. Holy jeez. They're probably using dynamic microphones because those are very, that's a durable type of microphone to withstand like all the wind and whatnot. Like, wow, this is some artsy shit. I'm such a fan. Oh, it doesn't resolve. The suspension doesn't resolve. Oh, now it's in three. He has a gorgeous voice. Mm -hmm. He has more facial, facial muscles than most K-pop singers we see. So you may be like recorded live, but there's like so much reverb added to this track right now. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to get that kind of like goopiness out in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Nice harmony. Yeah. This has really good harmonies. I like the... I like the way the melody interacts with the harmonies though. It sort of like weaves in the harmonies plus floating above. His voice has a lot of like lower, like overtones. Yeah, with like a little breathy thing over top to give it like you know the pop flair. I like that he chose a major key, so it's like. It feels like there's kind of hope, but yeah. he's also in the poem, like, there's a wildflower that's gonna bloom again. It does look like he has a fair amount of draw attention, though. Yeah. This is weird that we can, like, see every muscle in his face moving. He also might just have more muscular face than we're used to as well. Like, yeah, because his upper lip is moving a lot as well. And you know what I actually like about his voice? Is that it does sound mature. It sounds more mature than other artists would listen to. We listen to a lot of people who are like under 25, you know? But like this sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like it's got some, you know, meat on the bones. No, I like the use of the silence and that break and then boom. I love the break because then it would just bam. Yeah. Like his voice was like very, very good. Exposed, but he's yeah. just killing it. Yeah. I, that's why I like that this version is like no percussion or like other instruments because it's like just about the singing. Yeah. It's a good piano playing too. That little break right there, the piano. Is that a diminished? Chord? I don't know, I missed it. I was just thinking it's like the pianist is just like laying down the thick block chords, that's about it. I'm trying to analyze the chords. Four to two, very strong predominant. Oh, modulation. Okay. It's not the modulation. Oh, it's that it? heavy bass note. No, oh. it, no, 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 no. It is a modulation. Hey, but I'm but saying the modulation isn't what, you know, like we've heard that before. But the. 
Oh my gosh, the drone's doing things. Yeah. yeah that's a close shot to like, yeah. get this close. No cuts. You can have a little more backspace, but it's possible to have more backspace and still keeping the pop sound. That was a good hangout though. Yeah. I think it, it gets better when he goes higher. Yeah. Because you're like forced, I guess, to have that. Well, you have to. Yeah. It's easy to get lazy down in the lower. Whoa! One too many modulations. Well, no, I kind of liked it. It was like, it wasn't really a full modulation, it just kind of was an escape. It was a sidestep. Mo flat six, minor four, one. Oh shit, son. That's his voice. There it is. Shit. Wow, I wouldn't think he'd have that C. That's awesome. It's yeah. like a really, that's like, this is like maybe one of the stronger vocalists we've seen, like almost certainly. Oh, There's the damn. clarity that he was missing. Yeah. Yeah, because his, his breath is getting in the way. Yeah, and he has a good low. He has a good low, but once he gets up there. Once he really like clicked into it, yeah. I think the part of classical vocal technique that ought to be applied to every type of singing is chiaro scudo, because mm -hmm. it it changes it. It does. I also enjoy how like he actually is. It's very sincere. Mm -hmm. The melody really clearly outlines the harmony too. Yeah, which is, really, which is appreciated. Just goes to show you, you don't need to have like heavily arranged song if you've got amazing talent. Yeah. Dude, so powerful. You can like see it on his face too. Wow! I thought it was nice. He, he, he like, there was a moment where he, play, he, he sung a minor seven, which is very juicy. If you record it, if you record it, it was like with smaller intervals. You just have this random, not random, but like it was coordinated to have a minor seven. And then later he did a, like a minor, a major 10. And that was like, Oh, that was oh. some juicy stuff. And then you mentioned about the chords. It's like that was so spicy. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was very elaborate. But yeah, he like he was very passionate when he sung. Like just like telling you can look at his like chords and how he like really sung into it. He's not auto tuned. There's That's none. This one. Thing, yeah. There's none. You can tell. It's so uh, yeah. There's that. But it's also going up and down. And it's just. But he's so precise, you know? It's not like you can tell he's singing a little off. No, it's never off. But you can tell when a song is just has zero auto-tune, and this is, this is it. I think the mastering is, is, what did the, is, is what did the magic, but the performance is really moving. And I think the drone shot with the close-ups is very powerful too, because at first I was like, okay, he's just, this is just gonna be the entire video. But then it worked. My favorite part was, well, I love the fact that they would, they used breaks, but, and then, like, he would just come in and would hold out a, a note for, yeah. like, leading into the next, uh, fra like, the next chorus. That was really, really cool, especially at the end when he did that, and then he kept climbing. Yeah. Um, that was yeah, a really, that was really cool effect. Yeah. Emotionally, that was beautiful. Yeah. Because you think he's reached a peak, but wait, but yeah, there's more, which is nice because yeah. it, it goes back to his, you know, the lyrics where it's like he keeps breaking through barriers. So it's almost like musically he's setting up barriers for him to break. Oh, and, but he, no, but that's then he, idea. No, but, but he keeps doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, no, he does for sure. No, uh, the the control he has over his voice. Um, he's obviously a very strong singer, and I'll I'll probably say he's bit. Better than most singers that we've heard on K-pop groups. Like, I doubt most singers would be able to do something so convincingly. Like, seriously, that yeah. was unbelievable. Like, he didn't have to rely on instrumentation or anything to carry the song. He just relied on his voice and some yeah. harmony given by the piano. Yeah, the star of that was his voice. Like, yeah, and yeah, that jaw tension is super real. Where he affects his vibrato and his. And I'm sure some of that is like what you're saying, kind of the working uh, around working around having an actual problem. I mean, obviously that that would <laughs> change things, of course. Yeah, um, it, was, it was phenomenal. But then his high notes were great. Gorgeous, yep. he, were really he great. Kind of, he locked into a, like a clarity, and he was riding his breath more rather than 
kind of well, he's not a tenor. stuff behind it. And he's yeah. definitely not a tenor. It's not like he's a he's a K-pop star who naturally already has a high voice mm -hmm. and who like really gets up there. But like I think that also made it more impressive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And his his intimacy with the song too. Like he very was very passionate about the song, but it felt it had such good integrity too. Mm -hmm. Like there was never a point I thought, ah, this is kind of contrived. I'm also impressed that they managed just like sound yeah. recording wise. They managed to because like they were. I'm not sure if they maybe added the wind noise later, but there was like nothing of that in the in the actual recording. It was cool. I thought it was uh, it moved a lot more than you'd expect. Most of those like power ballad type songs would move. You could obviously tell whatever he was singing about was like very near and dear to him. And like uh, I think that's one of those songs that would like you know tear people apart alive. It was like I like how it was just so simple, mm -hmm. and they weren't trying to add any like exciting like oh it's an instrument like because yeah. I can see how you could easily go the direction of like let's add like a ton of strings or like even fake strings mm -hmm. and the, like, oh man that would totally, emotional swell that would like, have he totally didn't, killed it from yeah me. like he did the like all the like actual emotionalness with mm -hmm. just his voice and a piano rather than being like okay this is like the big moment. Let's add like cellos, yeah. but it was like he let's just add modulation and like yeah. dynamics. He didn't to need do to that. add any extra because there was so much power and like yeah. purity and passion and other p exactly. words to his voice. Yeah, his voice could just like do his, it to all. his performance. Right. So he didn't need like all that other crap. Other poop. I mean, it's not crap. So but it's but cool. the original song is orchestrated. Mm. This well, is I way like after this her. version. <laughs> yeah, I really like this version. It's way more current. Sorry. Judging by having only Musicians. heard one version, this one's better. <laughs> yeah. In my uneducated ten opinion. Ten. Yeah, my very uneducated opinion. This is the one. Exactly. That kind of a texture is so it like it so exposes vocalists who might be not the best singers and maybe good musical. Um, reciters. <laughs> so like, that, this was like really obviously a strong vocal performance on his part, and it was like really, it like was very impassioned. And he uh, has a strong voice. It seems like he's recovered really well from from his injury. His interaction with the piano was great. Piano playing was really good. I thought it was really harmonically interesting. So, yeah. How do you think the song represented the lyrics? I think with a lot of really heavy topics, a good way to go is uh, like making it a very thin texture. I feel like the more tender songs in the or tender like melodies in the repertoire that we play usually come in thin textures. Like it could be just like light strings and like a solo wind voice, or like you know sometimes it's even like they break it down to like a quartet, like maybe half the strings play. Or something like that. I know the Adagio from Mahler 5, which go check out, uh, is just strings uh, the whole time. Also, the use of silence is super important, especially like as like added in with the thin texture allows it to kind of create this feeling of nakedness. And like because you put yourself out there, like as a musician, like in a very like wow, any wrong sound that happens right now is just going to ruin it. It's such a like sensitive like environment to be in. It also puts the, the brings the listener in. It's like, oh my god, what's about to happen? Because like, you know, it's so easy to check out when there's like everybody's just like, ah! you know. But uh, you know, when there's just like a few people just kind of like, it's just like you're like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. How do you feel the song and melody supported the lyrics that I read before you watched it? I thought it was great. Mm -hmm. I think kind of the simplicity and the sincerity mm -hmm. of it really added to that and, and you could tell that he wrote every single word and, and it, he was very connected to it and it, it showed. You know, you have the power chords of the piano, you know, so it's just like you're feeling it. Like you're listening to it so you hear it and you're hearing the message, but you're feeling it in your chest, feeling it in your heart. It was good because it didn't distract at all from the words because I think he meant that to be the main focus. And so it was just very supportive and not distracting. Um, sometimes I would like be caught off guard because of the like drop but I thought that added to it again like I thought it was really well balanced between music and lyrics 
Hello everyone, welcome to our channel if you're new. I'm the channel runner and producer of the series. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're curious to see what else we're going to react to in the future, go ahead and check the description for a bunch of links that I have to playlists and schedules. Also, please check our Patreon if you want to support us. Patrons get access to unedited, full-length reaction videos, access to exclusive content, as well as early access to all the videos posted on here, and more. So thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.